Yo, what's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. My name is Nick Terrio and today I have an exciting new video for you guys. We're going to show you exactly how we took an ad account from a 2x ROAS to a 3x ROAS within 30 days by simply just making a few tweaks in the ad account and kind of like the systems and processes this client was running and how we managed to revamp it all and really just go from a 200% or ROI on their advertising to a 300% ROI on their advertising and absolutely every day just further increasing that. So I'm uh, really excited to share with you guys. We did literally, you know, we did around 60K and 30 days in sales, less than 30 days um, in sales. So really excited to share with you guys what we did. Before we get started, make sure you hit the like button and hit that subscribe button if you're new to the channel for new videos every other day, just like this one. So let's get started guys. So recently we signed on this new client for our agency, uh, really great client, really great product, all that good stuff. You know, they were, they were able to get some good success with their ad account, you know, validating their product, scaling it up a little bit, getting some results and everything. But they were also too kind of lost. You know, they, they had like one side of the advertising and their goals and all that correct, but they were missing the other side. Come to the systems and processes and, you know, that person to bring that, you know, bird's eye view to their brand. and. That's where we came on and we did some really cool stuff with their brand starting out um you know we were able to quickly jump in their ad accounts make some tweaks and stuff of how they're testing and all that stuff and then also to look at their brand as a whole versus just one side of the cost the customer acquisition side we can also look at some stuff about the customer attention all that good stuff so we came on board uh they did probably around twenty seven thousand dollars in ad spend the month before you know the 30 days before we started and then they did around fifty-two thousand dollars in sales. So a two extra ROAS, they have a break-even around one point three. So you know they made some, some, they made some profit. They made some change and stuff uh, with their business. Uh, then we came on board within our first month together. We've actually been able to go from a um, you know spend around twenty thousand dollars and make back fifty-eight thousand dollars. So we spent seven thousand dollars less, and we made nearly seven thousand dollars more. So that's what fourteen thousand dollars total. I'm not gonna say in profit, but you know, difference in terms of spin and revenue and you know, for both months and stuff like that. So um, I wanna share with you guys really quick what we kind of did to show you a few, you know, numbers inside the ads manager and stuff and how exactly we achieved that and you know kind of what they were doing before which a lot of you guys are currently doing right now so um if we look inside of the ads manager right here you know this is this month right here like i said we spent about twenty one thousand dollars total and it shows about 1.86 in the ads manager we're like really the only thing driving traffic to the store so it's not like an outside source that's attributing all the sales and stuff so and if we jump inside of their shopify you can see this month we're at fifty eight thousand dollars so we're in a near 3x return on ad spend. If we look at last month, we're at $52,000 in sales. And if we look back at the ads manager, you can see right here last month was $27,000 spent. So we're obviously not even at a full month yet because today is only the 26th. So we still have five more days in a month with them averaging near $3,000 a day. Well, we're, we could be looking at somewhere around nearly $70,000 with this brand for this month, first month together. So their biggest month yet, absolutely crazy. You know, their, their goal, their objective was 100K a month in six months with us. Within our first month together, we nearly added an additional 25 to 50% or 50% of revenue to their business. So absolutely insane. But what did we do? How did we just come in there and make a few tweaks and stuff and really um, kind of scale things up? Well, first off is just taking a look at their ads account. You know, after we validate our product and stuff and, you know, we've we seen that they had a great product we wanted to take on, we validated their account and stuff. And, um, you know, we took a look at the ad account and we just kind of noticed a few things. First off, that campaigns everywhere. Um, I like to make this reference and, you know, no offense to anyone doing this, no offense to any of our clients and stuff that had did this. But, you know, we take a look at their ad account and stuff and it looks like literally a third grader's homework or preschoolers homework with color just all over just scribble scrabble everywhere and you know that's okay getting started but you need to have the proper systems to run advertising if you don't have the proper systems and you, you don't run them effectively and stuff what you're gonna happen is you're gonna run into this this thing of chasing your tail you'll be turning campaigns on turning campaigns off and stuff you'll be running ads everywhere 
it's just gonna look like a mess. So what we did was is first off, we established one or two campaigns we wanted to leave on because they had a lot of campaigns similar to each other. And what we did was we went and inspected inside the ad set. You can hit the little inspect tool, look at the last seven days of data, and we could really identify quickly what ad sets had auction overlap. Auction overlap increases your cost per acquisition, increases cost per acquisition equals lower ROAS. So we first off by cutting off a few campaigns that are running actually increased their ROAS by just turning off a few things. We didn't even touch the other campaigns that we left on. We just turned off a few other ones, which naturally allowed the ad spend to spend better because we weren't doing um, auction overlap. We didn't have any you know, we weren't bidding against ourselves. Now, the next thing we did is we wanted to identify what audience worked well in the past. We wanted to look at what creatives worked best. And we also wanted to look at rooms for improvement. So we wanted to look at audience exclusions, were they excluding audiences and stuff, or have they tested carousels, have they tested video, have they tested gifts? We want to question all everything they have done in the past. How, do they have a catalog installed on their website to that way we can do recatalog retargeting ads? You know, what's some of the stuff they've done inside the ads manager? And then once we do all that, we want to gather all that together. So we like to create two campaigns. One, one is for winning creatives in the past and one is for uh, winning audiences. And we just load in all of our winning audiences in that campaign. And we load in all of our winning creatives in that, in that other campaign. And this only might be four or five winning creatives that we think are great creatives that clients created in the past that's done really well. But what can we do to further improve them? Or can we rerun them again with a better ad set optimization? So that way we, we kind of optimize ad set a lot better you know we add exclusions in we test these new audiences and stuff you know what can we do to better perform it better manage to spend maybe that's just the case right there so once we get all of their assets sorted out we like to go through the funnel look at their click from the ad to landing page view rate so we can see if there's any discrepancies or people clicking on the ad to view in the website. We look at people who view the website, their add to cart rate. So how many people view the website? How many people add to cart? What percentage is that? Then from add to cart to purchase, then from initiate checkout to purchase. Uh, so we can figure out the different conversion rates between add to cart to purchase, initiate checkout to purchase, view content to purchase, click to purchase. So that way we can see if there's any data discrepancies of people exiting the funnel at certain rates. And then once we do all of that right there, we can really build the whole picture of the brand and we can really go in str strategically from there of what ad sets to create, what creatives to create, do we need to fix the website, do we need to optimize the website, maybe it's just something simple as that. And for this particular account, they had great everything except the audience campaigns, structures and creative testing. They didn't really have that set up properly. So we initially went in, we set up our scaling campaign, which just left one of theirs on as our scaling campaign. And then we set up an audience testing campaign, a creative testing campaign. We started testing batches of creatives. We like to shoot for a new batch of creatives every single week. For example, one particular creative we got right now is literally running a 10X return on ad spend at cold audience. Yes, I know, absolutely and crazy, but we've also done five batches of creative testing with some of those doing way less in ROAS, even barely break even. But that's the whole point of creative testing is going through the process of testing different variables and stuff to where we can really lock down on a laser focus uh, one that works well. Now, audience testing campaign, we're testing new audiences, ad sets and stuff they haven't did yet or that has maybe worked in the past and see if we can further optimize on them. We simply just load in all our best performing creatives in the past, run it like that. And usually just been our audience testing campaign, our creative testing campaign, we get some pretty good results and we're about $100 to $200 a day in ad spend right there. And then we start just cranking things out. You know, we, we cut off what doesn't work. We cut off what works and stuff. And then, you know, we slowly started building out the retargeting side. We kind of shift a lot of our stuff now. So we're spending a lot more on customer acquisition or a lot more on customer acquisition. So that way we can really focus on the back end, the, the customer retention, you know, getting traffic, old traffic to convert, you know, our retargeting and stuff like that. But we did a few things as well as increasing their average order value by just making a few tweaks to their offer a little bit. Uh, we increased their average order value literally from like 30, $5 all the way up to like $45. So for example, if they do a hundred orders a day, that's an additional thousand dollars per day because it's hundred orders a day plus $10 per average order. That's an increase. So literally just little tweaks like that that's made big impacts. So that's everything we did. And we literally took them from going around, you know, obviously, like I said, you know, a two X return on ad spend. And we're looking at average cost of advertising with average, you know, revenue and stuff for the month. So um, you basically take your, your total amount of raw revenue for Shopify and your total amount of ad spend for all channels and divide that. And that's your true return on ad spend, especially for these brands that are doing purely just paid advertising. So yeah, that's literally everything we kind of 
ran into uh, with this brand and stuff. And we got a lot of really big things planned. We kind of just did some of the dirty work now. Now we're doing more strategic side and really pumping it up and trying to see how can we get a 4X return on ad spend? How can we get a 5X? You know, how can we beef up their customer retention, loyalty programs, Facebook groups, all that good stuff and really building out the brand as a whole. So it's a, this is a really, 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 really fun project I'm having with right now. So the uh, team loves it. I love it. Great client, great overall. So it's uh, it's nice, man. It's it's it's, it's really cool. <laughs> so if uh, you're an e-commerce business owner, and you're spending over a thousand dollars a day on paid advertising. Make sure you click the link below to book a call with me and my team. We'll take a look at your ad account and stuff, and figure out the best strategic moves we can make to really vamp up your account, just like we did for this client right here. We've we've helped multiple clients now scale to multiple six figures per month, and we'd love to have you. You know, take a look at your account, see what we can do to improve your your business and your results. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you hit that like button. And if you're new to the channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Post new videos every other day around Facebook ads, Shopify, and marketing. So guys, again, my name is Nick Terrio. It's about that time. Hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you all so much for watching. Talk to you guys later. Peace.